In late June 2022, Squarespace announced that they were launching the Fluid Engine, a new type of editor for Squarespace 7.1 websites. This editing engine will be a content editor for regular page sections that use blocks. If you've been working in Squarespace for a while, you might be familiar with the classic editor. The classic editor is what Squarespace has come to be known for with its simple content blocks that just snap into place and make designing pages pretty easy and most importantly, pretty hard to mess up. Well, Squarespace has decided that the classic editor no longer cuts it and have decided to replace the classic editor with the new Fluid Engine editor. Basically, the Fluid Engine is a new and much more flexible way to edit in Squarespace 7.1. So it is important to note that Squarespace 7.0 sites, as far as Squarespace has told us, will not get this Fluid Engine upgrade and will continue to use the classic editor, at least for now. So now that you have a better understanding of what the Fluid Engine actually is, Let's dive a little deeper into the pros and cons of this new technology and whether or not you should use it. So the pros, number one, it is much more flexible. The biggest benefit to Squarespace's new Fluid Engine Editor is that it's just so flexible. This point is a huge pro and it's hard to elaborate on without showing you all around the new editor. If you haven't had a chance to play around with Fluid Engine yet, I highly recommend starting a new 7.1 trial site and giving it a go. We also filmed another video actually showing you the key differences between the classic editor and Fluid Engine, and there you will see just how really flexible it is. So definitely check out that video. It should be linked somewhere up here, but if it's not, I'll make sure to link it down below. So while this point seems pretty quick to cover, it holds a lot of weight. Flexibility is a huge factor in design and being able to just create what you want without having to use custom code or jump through hoops is pretty incredible. And with this new editor, while it's still lacking in a few things here and there, compared to the classic editor, you can just do so much more with it. Number two is separate mobile editing. Another huge asset to Squarespace's new Fluid Engine Editor is the separate mobile editing functionality. Squarespace's classic editor automatically adapted existing desktop designs for mobile screens. And while this was convenient, it's also really restrictive because you have no control over the way the content blocks were displayed. There are so many people browsing websites on their phones that mobile design is just as important if not more important these days, than your desktop site. The Fluid Engine's mobile editor is almost completely separate from desktop, meaning that you can move everything independently from mobile and it doesn't affect your desktop site. This definitely requires a bit of extra work as you're almost designing two different designs per site or per page. But in this day and age, with the importance of both desktop and mobile views, this kind of editing is necessary and I think a huge step up for Squarespace. So that's really it for the summary of my Fluid Engine pros. It didn't seem like much, but if you dive into the new editor and see how different and flexible it is, you'll realize that between the advanced flexibility and the separate mobile editing, these two pros pack a huge punch. Okay, so now let's dive into the cons of the Fluid Engine. Number one, is there too many options? With more options comes more overwhelm. And one of the biggest drawbacks of this new Fluid Engine editor is that because there are so many more design options, it can be harder to learn and maybe overwhelming for beginners and DIYers to pick up. When you're given this much flexibility, you really have to have an understanding of balanced design to make smart creative decisions that support your business. So we might start to see some DIYers getting frustrated with all of the different options and creating a site that maybe has too much going on. The great thing about the classic editor was that while it was quite limited, you could really quickly create a basic site and like I said before, it was pretty hard to mess up. If you're diving into Fluid Engine and trying to build a site from scratch, I would maybe look into starting with either a free Squarespace template or purchasing one of our premium templates as this will help you get the main layout for your design sorted and then you can just tweak the design from there. Because starting from scratch in the Fluid Engine might be pretty overwhelming. Number two, it needs perfecting. Because this Fluid Engine editor is still in the early stages of development, there are some weird glitches that Squarespace is still ironing out. It's pretty common for Squarespace to launch these things, in my opinion, before they're fully baked. <laughs> this rollout will likely be a work in progress and Squarespace will probably make updates along the way, which is really common. So if you're using Fluid Engine and something doesn't seem right, or even just something doesn't seem intuitive or you think it could be improved, definitely submit a ticket through Squarespace. The more tickets they get, the higher they will prioritize fixing something or changing something. Okay, so the final big question is, should I use the classic editor or Fluid Engine? And what's gonna happen to my existing 7.1 site? Well, the answer is pretty simple because Squarespace is slowly phasing out the classic editor. You essentially have no choice but to get on board with the Fluid Engine. Your existing 7.1 site will likely be already supporting Fluid Engine 
and new sections you add may actually be in Fluid Engine instead of Classic Editor. Squarespace is still figuring out all of the rollout plan for this and dates have varied a bit so this information may change but right now all 7.1 sites have the ability to support Classic Editor sections and Fluid Engine sections. When you add a new section it will likely be in the Fluid Engine format but you can still use Classic Editor sections in the future by duplicating existing Classic Editor sections on your site and duplicating pages that have classic editor sections. Squarespace has also said that they don't want to force any existing classic editor sections to Fluid Engine, and they're not trying to break any of your existing site. So if you don't really edit your site very often and you just want to leave it as is, that's not going to be a problem. If you do want to go ahead and learn the new editor, I would recommend probably creating some new pages and playing around with it and get familiar first, and then you should be able to convert your existing classic editor sections to Fluid Engine by clicking on the little upgrade button that will be at the top of all of your page sections. It is important to note though, while you can convert classic sections to Fluid Engine, you can't convert them back. So maybe make a duplicate of your page or your section before you click that convert or upgrade button. Finally, what is the best way to learn the new Fluid Engine editor? As always, we're gonna be pumping out tutorials here on our YouTube and blog. So keep an eye out for those coming out weekly and we'll slowly be updating a lot of our older tutorials to keep up with the new editor. If you want those tutorials directly to your inbox every week, you sign up for our email list and I will put the link for that below this video. And if you're wondering about our templates, the best part is we have converted all of our Squarespace 7.1 templates to the new Fluid Engine. So if you really want a design to start with and you want a full in-depth tutorial of Fluid Engine, definitely check out our Squarespace templates. You get a beautiful website template to start with so you don't have to start from scratch. And then all you have to do is actually just customize instead of building the whole thing from the ground up. And we've recorded a whole series of super in-depth videos of everything you need to know about Fluid Engine to be able to customize your own site. And of course, I will link that below too. So overall, this is a massive change for Squarespace. Is it the right move for their current DIY audience? It's hard to know right now. But overall, the new Fluid Engine Editor is pretty darn awesome and it's going to create some beautiful websites. So let me know in the comments what you think about the new editor. Have you tried it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let's chat about it in the comments and thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.